before we begin the story, here are a few important words you will see. Pollen is the powdery substance on flowers. Here you can see the little yellow pollen grains on this apple tree flower. Deeper down, these flowers also have nectar, which is the sweet, sticky stuff that attracts animals. When pollen gets moved from one flower to another, it's called pollination, and that's what this book is about. Pollination allows for seeds and fruits to grow so that plants can multiply and we can eat the foods they produce. Now, here is the story of Simon and the Bee. One bright spring morning, Simon woke up with the sun, put on his boots, and set out into the orchard to find a shiny red apple. The orchard was filled with trees, but Simon did not see a single apple. All he saw as far as his eyes could see were pink buds and white flowers. Where are all the apples? Mr. Apple Tree, asked Simon, where are your apples? To make an apple, I need pollen from another tree's flowers, the tree explained, using his branch to point to other apple trees in the distance. I see, said Simon. If you help me, then I will grow apples for you, and you can return in the fall to eat them offered the apple tree. Yes, sir. Simon liked the sound of that, so he walked over to a nearby flower and ever so gently bent a branch towards it, but it did not reach. Maybe you can carry the pollen to me, said the apple tree to Simon. But Simon did not want to break the branch, and he had no way to get the pollen from one tree to another. I'm going to need help, Simon said, as he sat down to think. Simon let out a big sigh. Ah, he heard what sounded like another sigh in reply. It was the wind. Hi, wind said Simon excitedly. Can you help me carry pollen to the apple tree? Well, I can try, replied the wind. The wind took a deep breath and blew a strong gust across the orchard. Sure enough, Simon watched as pollen shook loose from the flowers and blew into the air, but it went straight past the apple tree and spread onto the ground. The apple tree looked worried. I think I got some! <coughs> Just then, Simon heard the chirp of a songbird as it flew by overhead, and it gave him an idea. Miss Bird, cried Simon, will you please help me bring pollen to the apple tree? Sorry, said the bird. Those flowers are too small, and they don't have enough nectar. Now, if you don't mind, I must go sit on my nest. And with that, she flew off and disappeared over the orchard, leaving Simon and the apple tree all alone again. In the distance, Simon could hear the rumbling of a tractor. I know, exclaimed Simon. I'll ask the farmer for help. He'll know what to do. He just won't quit. Simon ran over to the field, calling out, Mr. Farmer, Mr. Farmer, can you help me to pollinate the apple trees? Hello, Simon, replied the farmer. We could use special tools to pollinate all the apple trees ourselves, but this would take a very long time, and there'll be more apples if you get help from the real experts. 
but I've already asked the wind and birds, explained Simon. Aha! But they aren't the real experts. You must find an insect that can help you, responded the farmer. So Simon set off to find an insect. He looked around and saw an earthworm on the ground. Mr. Worm, can you help me carry pollen from one flower to another? Sorry, responded the worm. I'm feeling very slow and hungry. I'm going to wait here for an apple to fall so I can eat it. Um, that's not an insect. Simon and the apple tree were feeling rather sad. Not a moment later, Simon heard a buzzing noise in the distance. He followed the sound until he noticed the busiest bee he had ever seen. It was going from flower to flower in a frantic rush. The bee didn't seem to notice Simon. She continued to fly busily around some wildflowers. Simon spoke louder. Excuse me, Miss Bee! Sorry, can't talk, I'm busy. But Miss Bee, the apple tree needs help to make an apple. Well, we're very busy these days. The bee looked over Simon and saw the orchard full of flowers. We're going to need help. I'll be back, said the bee. Simon watched as the bee flew off. Sure enough, she returned with what looked like an army of bees. They buzzed straight towards the apple trees. Slowly but surely, the bees went from flower to flower, pollinating tree after tree. Simon and his friend watched in amazement as the fertilization process began. Months went by and the weather began to change. On a crisp and colorful day, Simon returned to the orchard to see his friend the apple tree. To Simon's delight, the orchard was filled with apples. Simon grabbed the shiniest, reddest apple he could find, sat down against the tree, and thanked God for the bees. Thanks for listening. If you enjoyed this book, please click on the link in the description below to purchase a copy.